The Ford Escape is a staple on American roadways, and it has been refreshed for the 2023 model year. So what does this offer in the way of efficiency? Today, we're gonna find out. <music> This is Chris here with Daily Motor, and today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test on the 2023 Ford Escape ST-Line Elite all-wheel drive. I think I got it all. All right, before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. So here it is. As I mentioned, the Escape got a facelift for the 23 model year. So we've got a completely new front fascia, which I think looks like a Ford Edge now and we've got an led bar that goes across the front and a number of new trim levels this one being the st line elite so this is like one down from the top the top being i think platinum so this is a pretty specked out escape it's about forty three thousand dollars which i never thought i would see the day where a ford escape is 43 grand but here we are and here it is under the hood of this particular Escape, Ford's 2-liter turbocharged EcoBoost four-cylinder engine, and this particular SUV is all-wheel drive. You have a couple of different powertrains you can get. There's a smaller 1.5-liter, and there's also a hybrid variant of the Escape. But today we're in the ST-Line all-wheel drive, so the quickest of the bunch, but uh, certainly not the most efficient. But we shall see just how efficient in today's test. So let's go ahead, hop in, and get started. So why do we perform this test? Well, the EPA's fuel economy test, which gives this Ford Escape two liter all wheel drive 31 MPG on the highway, only averages 48 miles per hour. And we know that some people like to take their cars on actual road trips. So what we're gonna do today is go out 50 miles and back 50 miles, averaging 70 miles per hour for a more real world figure. A couple of things worth noting for today's test, outside temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna be running the climate control inside the cabin at 73 degrees auto. Tire pressures have been set to their factory door placard indicated 36 PSI cold, and we'll be using the same gas pump both times using the same three-click filling method to get the most accurate results possible. Let's go ahead, hop out, grab our first fill. Just under 11 gallons going in there for our first fill. And since this is a Ford, it does not have a fuel cap. It has the easy fuel capless system. I remember back in 2013, my dad's Fusion had that, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Quite a large tank on this. It's around 16 gallons, so we were just under a half, and it took 11. Cool. Let's hop in, get started with the test. Before we start the engine, we're going to get a couple things taken care of. For one, I'm going to set the temperature here to 73 and we're going to put it on the first auto setting there okay that's taken care of now we're going to go over here and we're going to hold okay to reset our trip all right let's go ahead and fire it up and get started now we have a couple of drive modes here on this escape and i apologize for the visor but it is very bright so uh, actually quite a good visor american cars usually have nice visors Anyways, let's go ahead and cycle through our drive modes, which you get by pressing this button down here below the infotainment. We have normal, eco, sport, and slippery. Of course, today we will be running the escape in eco mode. And let me know, actually, in the comments, if you can see this cluster flickering. I don't know what it is with these American cars. I had a Cadillac that did the same thing, but their full um, uh, digital clusters, they flicker. I don't know what it, why, oh, this is good. Last minute change into the turn lane. Highway's about a quarter mile away. I will update you all when I am merging on. Now, the purpose of this test is not to hypermile. I'm simply going to merge onto the freeway, set the cruise control to a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour, and just drive like any normal person would. We're not gonna do any sort of drafting or anything like that. I'm just going to drive very realistically. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit here to safely merge. This is probably the highest we'll wrap the car out. Pop this visor back down just for a second. Let's get this up to our indicated 72 on the cluster. We'll see how that translates to the GPS. Looks like it is spot on accurate. 
All right, well, under first highway impressions, uh, well, it's a car. I've been driving this thing for a couple of days now, and uh, I was a little bit skeptical at first because I've never really been a huge fan of the Escape, but uh, they've spruced it up a bit for the 23 model year. I've got this nice flat bottom steering wheel on the ST line models, uh, and we also have this much larger infotainment system, which I think is okay. It's still a little bit laggy, as Ford systems usually are, but uh, it's quite nice, and I think it's quite attractive. Though I don't like that they have the climate control in the infotainment now. I'm not a big fan of that. Otherwise, though, it drives like a car. It's got a pretty smooth ride. It's a little loud, as you can hear. We've got a bit of road noise going on and wind intrusion. But we do have a full suite of driver aids in this ST Line Elite. As you can see, it's pulling me to the right right now. That is our lane keep assist. And we also have radar cruise control, which you can adjust with this button here. Got four different settings for that. I like to drive on the closest one because it still drives quite far away. Right, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get settled in here with this Ford Escape ST Line Elite. And I will update you guys here in about 90 miles or so. Once I've spent some time in it, we'll let you know how it has done on the fuel economy test. But until then, enjoy the time lapse and I will talk to you shortly. Wrapping up our drive here in the 23 Ford Escape and indicated on the cluster 34.9 mpg, so just about 4 mpg. Oh, it just went over to 35 actually, a solid 35, so 4 mpg higher than EPA's estimate on the highway. Quite a bit more than I was expecting, to be honest. I kind of expected this Escape to kind of just meet EPA and hover somewhere around that 31 number, but uh, I'm surprised to see there 35 indicated. We'll have to see how accurate that is once we get back to the pump. But uh, otherwise, it has been quite a nice drive here in the Escape. No real complaints. I'm not a huge fan of the seating position. I think it's a little bit too high. But uh, otherwise, it's been quite all right. The BNO Play sound system is decent for what it is. And otherwise, I mean, it's, it's really been okay. The seat's not so bad. The infotainment is decent. And overall, well, it's a car. What is happening here, do we think? This is lot of just a lot going on okay well anyways it gets a pretty good review from me and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my little journey here to the petrol station and I will catch back up with you once I have brimmed the tank on the escape ST line elite all-wheel drive Actually, just kidding, one last thing I want to say before we brim the tank. I am also pleasantly surprised with the radar cruise and lane keep assist. It does actually a pretty dang good job. The radar cruise, or the adaptive cruise control, I should call it, uh, is not nervous like some of the systems are. It passes properly. It doesn't slam on its brakes and freak you out. And the lane keep assist does a pretty good job, too. You do have to touch the wheel every, like, five seconds, but not too bad of a system. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull in here. Trying to get hit by an Altima that needs a lot of room to pull out. Jeez. I'm gonna brim the tank and uh, let you know how this thing did. 2.834 gallons going in there for our final fill. Top in, see how we did. Today's trip was 98.16 miles. We'll go ahead and divide that by the 2.834 gallons of regular fuel that we put into this Ford Escape. And that gives us 34.6 MPG, rounding up there to 35. Pretty consistent with what we had reading out on the cluster, and that means this Escape has exceeded EPA's rating by almost 4 MPG. So a pretty solid number there for this uh, largest offered engine and all-wheel drive Ford Escape. 
Now, let's go ahead and multiply this by 15.7, as that is our fuel tank capacity. And that gives you an effective highway cruising range of 540 miles. Also a pretty solid number here uh, for a car in this segment. So there you go. On your Ford Escape 2-liter uh, all-wheel drive, we're getting 35 mpg, 540 miles of effective highway cruising range. Not the best we've seen, but certainly not a bad performance overall. So there you have it. That'll wrap up the fuel economy test for us today. If you're interested in other Ford Escape videos, make sure you check the link in the description. That will take you to all of those. But otherwise, that'll wrap it up for us today. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Chris here with Daily Motor. And as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.